Hi, I'm Anita Potter from Anita Potter Productions. Let's get started on doing some production. Now I've been trying to do this series for, <laughs> seems like weeks now. One thing or another, outlet blowing up, so a ton of construction, getting home from work and it's just like too hot, too tired, so. Now I'm on vacation, so we're gonna get started with this series and I can get into a groove. So um, the th part we did the last time within the chance composition thing, I'm gonna forget all about that because we're gonna go move into a different direction. Now, the um, reason I wanted to start this series, let me just go full screen real quick. The reason I wanted to start this series was because there are just not enough videos about how you go to start doing something start your song work on your song finish your song go through and do um get it ready for streaming or all of that because i just work with, with with streaming i don't i'm not going to teach you things i don't have knowledge of like um learning how to master or uh have it uh, get it ready for like uh, CD pressings or on vinyl because I don't know enough about that and I don't want to talk like I do so we're just gonna do this to go through a whole the whole thing to get it to streaming services and a lot of the videos you see about production just do not absolutely go from beginning middle and end they give you a little bit of each and then you're on your own and then you have a ton of questions that whoever it is don't answer them and it's frustrating because it's like you have this idea and you want to get it down but you're not quite sure what to do that's what this series is going to try to do now i've only done uh the one track my track metal lands that's the only one i've done so far but i need to start getting into the habit of getting something done at least every month or at least attempt to between kids and working, construction going around in this apartment complex. I got noisy neighbors, which is the big thing. And at late at night for no reason. Um, but in your, your situation might be the same. You might not be in a big, uh, well, this isn't a big living room, but in a living room, you may be stuck in your tiny little bedroom doing all this with just virtual instruments and one microphone. And that's fine. Don't let anybody tell you you can't be a musician if you don't have all this gear and all these instruments. I have instruments. I do stuff with MIDI. I have a MIDI controller over here that's buried in junk. I have another one over there that I haven't even tested yet. Yeah, but you got an interface, a laptop, desktop, whatever you can. Hell, there are things. Just do it on your phone. So we're going to get started and what i'm going to do is i'm going to get started with the drums so i'm going to get out of the full screen and go back into my corner and um let's see i decided i was going to start with the drums first now i'd also made the decision that i'm going to um make this into a synth wave track so i'm going to double click and create a new track and i know which one which drums i want so i'm gonna input my midi to my casio on all channels and i'm gonna go find the drums i'm looking for Ed. and if i remember if i i don't think i put them into a specific folder so i'm gonna have to hunt uh where'd it go it's under hellion okay Steinberg stuff is not the easiest to get installed on your computer, but it took four programs and like 12,000 hours later, I finally got it loaded. Let's see, 180 kit, huge. Loading it. All right, um, where's the interface for it? See, this is what happens when you don't all right, hang on here. There we go. Now, unfortunately, my monitor is not um, 
big enough for this. Can we make this? I don't know. I can't do that either because this is not really resizable, which is um, annoying. But I don't really need any of these down here. I don't even know what they're for. So I'm going to record arm my track. And I need to see the key, so I'm going to need to go back to load. Okay, so those, what are these down there? I'm going to have to move all the way back to my piano here. Try to take my microphone with me, find out what this is. Oh, come on. <clears throat> Why is this doing this to me? I set the MIDI channel. I have it record armed. Why? Why, why? Am I going too low on the piano? I don't really know. I can't really tell. No, that's the wrong. Oh, that's hilarious. Okay. So. Weird. All right, let me find. Let me find. No. Where is it? There we go. I thought it was at the, all the way at the end, and it's just not. All right, um. Let me turn the volume on my piano down because we don't need to hear that. That's a this kick. That's a snare. Also a snare. Is that a tom? Yeah. Yeah, these are toms. So I'm just gonna work with the kick and the snare. not really in love with that kick at all. So that will probably end up being, I'll uh, probably end up replacing that with samples at some point, but we're just, right now we're just gonna get the track loaded in. So I'm gonna close this window so I can see what I'm doing. So I'm not covering my uh, transport controls. I suppose I could put them at the top, but we'll do that another time. So I'm gonna hit record and we'll give it a shot, make sure where I'm at. Nope. All right. I'm trying to think. Okay, so we got some some sort of something or other going on with that. Um, does this thing even have symbols? Ah, there's the hats. Whoops. Oh. Okay, all right. Kick, snare, claps. Sounds like a shotgun snare. And then hat, 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 symbol. I think that's a block and that's, and that's it on that so <clears throat> okay so let's go over here and look at our MIDI because I just wanted to like just have like something like just a little a regular beat and it took me a minute to figure it out so I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna shorten this because I know right to about there and I'm going to double click and I'm using my middle mouse wheel to scroll in. I'm going to press control A to select everything and then drag it all to the left. Well, drag it to the left. Let me look at the thing. Okay. Well, let me start it at a at the first of a bar. Let me get rid of this. There's like this green note I accidentally hit, so we'll double click, get rid of that. And we move it up. And let's see. Press pl play here. All right. I'm going to extend, move that back and Drag it a little longer. All 
All right, and just for sake of argument, I'm going to, um, first off, when I'm trying to build it, I will, um, I will put it on the grid. Usually when I'm, I'm done and everything is it, I will humanize it or I will do it by hand and move stuff around. So, so it has like a, a groove and not so rigid and robotic. So I'm going to go to the quantize. All notes, grid. Yeah, eighth notes is good. Some of these I might have to drag back. I don't want to move right. Or maybe I do. Okay, we'll just commit that for right now. And then keep that there. Of course, sometimes it doesn't work, so you have to like manually drag stuff back. But the snare is on the three, the kicks are on the one. Three. That needs to move. That was loud. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna right click on your mouse and drag a selection box. And then I'm gonna move these over. I've been having issues with my mouse lately. Okay, so let's down here and rewind and take, take a listen. Oh, whoops. Let's fix that. Because that was just too much. Drag that because I know that's off. Whoops, what the hell did I just do? Like I said, I've been having issues with my mouse. It's um, being weird. Check something here. Let's go back down a little bit. Yeah, I'm not really in love with that snare sound either, but we're right now we're just we're just building something. So let's see. Oh, I need to go back into the MIDI here and like trying to remember how drag it well drag it back to that end part where it ends on uh, a measure and then I'm gonna do the same thing at the front if it'll let me here and start it right there let's see if that and that'll edit your MIDI right there so I should be able to like just for right now, drag it all the way to the left. And then when I, oh shoot. Yeah, that didn't work out well because those are those hits I was trying to figure out where everything was. Damn it. I'm not sure how to fix that. Um, or actually, you know what? Let me just do something else. I'm gonna drag it out here and then I'm gonna not drag it that way. Do this. And then I'm going to slice it, S key, delete. Okay. Now if I drag it, no, and it still does it. Oh my God. I'm going to have to research that. That's a little irritating. So I'm just going to move it over here. Close that. <clears throat> I was hoping I could just drag it to loop, but not with all that nonsense in it. So let me unrecord on the track real quick. So let me see. I'm going to click on that little bit, control copy, and then control V to paste. But I think that might be too many. Yeah. So I'm going to zoom in on this one. Sneak it up there, and then sneak it up over here, and then 
put back there and then we'll listen. That was too quick. What do I do? Okay. So we drag that back to there and then I can just well, let me just, I can just copy. Or you can right click on it and then go down and click copy items and then right click and then paste as well. So I just wanted to get a couple of bars. I didn't want that many, but let's see. How many do I have? How many bars is this? I don't know. Nine? probably eight something like that but that's fine we'll just leave it like that for right now I'm gonna save my project it's just trying to get started and just trying to figure out what you want is the absolute hardest thing to get going on it's just like you're not gonna know it's like okay what do I start with first if you're like a piano player you mainly probably would start with the piano I am a piano player but I wanted to start um, with the drums first because I wasn't sure what kind of groove I wanted it wanted with it and when I go into like after getting the drums done layering synths and stuff to go with it that's that's gonna take a that's gonna take a while <laughs> um, but oh, I need to change the BPM damn it I forgot to do that uh, let's see let me let me change this to like 108 because it's not a particularly fast thing so I don't know if that's gonna change the feel mm. shoot all right let's just change it back control Z to undo so we'll leave it at 120. If you have, all right, the one thing you have to do in, in Reaper um, is usually it's it's best to make sure you know what what kind of tempo you want to go for. It's like there are metronome apps on the phone. You can tap the tempo in here, but I don't, I don't have much luck with tap tempoing inside of Reaper with the mouse. I don't feel it's as accurate as I need it to be. But that's just me. If, if you've tapped a tempo in Reaper and it works fine for you, awesome. I just didn't have much luck with it. So, um, yeah. So we're going to, um, let's see. I'm going to end this now since it's been about almost 20 minutes. And we'll come back and we'll layer like hi-hats and um, cymbals. We might, we, we might, actually, I might leave the cymbals for last. Um, till I can get like the melody or whatnot so I know where it's going um, but the hi-hat groove we should probably I should probably get that in there too um, and I will do that next week so how do you approach starting on your own tracks what do you do first let me know in the comment section below and I will see you in the next video bye bye for now